Hey guys, it's me Sam and today I am doing my November empties vlog video. As usual throughout the month I tend to collect all my empties so I can save them and share them all with you. And as you can see they are always kept inside my lovely little waste basket I've got. It actually used to be a plant holder look just to prove a point. It's good luck there. It's called recycling, you guys. Recycling, it's good. As you can see, there's a variety of things I have used up this month. Or should I say last month? And now one is going to share them with you. Now, literally, the very first thing that I used up in November was this gorgeous bath and shower gel that I've got from the body shop. It is a white musk one, and even for there is a little scratchy bit at the bottom, I couldn't be bothered to stand there any longer waiting for it to come out so as far as I'm concerned that is empty this is such a gorgeous musky scent uh, and it's, it actually says feel clean and fresh all over with this white musk scented cleanser infusions of marshmallow root and lime help to smooth the skin and leave your body and your hair feeling soft and smelling great now I, I don't tend to use stuff like that in my hair I like to use a separate shampoo and conditioner I cannot remember how much these are worth uh, i i think i found this actually in stuart's and Nan's house when we were doing a clear out but i love to scent hence why i grabbed it and put it in my handbag and brought it home with me but now it has gone so it can now go off to the old recycling bin up in the sky the next thing that i used up was my garnier mister cleansing water this is in the 125 ml bottle which i can find in asda or body care for usually around a pound. Uh, these can last me a good month or so, depending on how much muck I need to get off my face. But I deeply, deeply recommend these guys. I love this stuff. This is the only stuff I will use on my face now to remove my makeup with. I have no issues with it. I get no complications. I do not come out in spots. Brilliant stuff. Love it. Next thing that I used up was this body deodorant from Soft and Gentle. It's in jasmine and, and cocoa milk and I absolutely adore this scent. It is just absolutely delightful and I like the fact that my pits smell heavenly. I think I paid about a pound for this from Poundland and oh, definitely recommend. Right, next thing that I used up, or should I say we both used up, me and Jess, was this Tough Paste from Colgate. It's the Max White with uh, Whitening Strips Tough Paste. Uh, brilliant for attempting to get your teeth to go white. Kind of like that was in mine, but because I do a nice smoke and I do drink coffee and tea and whatnot, uh, I have to quite honestly say my teeth aren't as stained as they should be really so i'm quite proud of my teeth to be perfectly honest guys um obviously i bought another one to replace it but this is gone it's douched bye bye now for some reason i seem to have got through a lot of body body sprays this month maybe i smell i don't know maybe i'm paranoid i smell maybe i just don't want to smell who knows i just seem to you'll see anyway this is the very first one that i got through at the beginning of november it's from an Impulse, as you can see, and it's in the scent Into Glam, which is a mixture of sandalwood and vanilla. And this is absolutely gorgeous, like all of their body sprays, to be perfectly honest. But this one, I have to actually say, I really did enjoy wearing. I think I paid about £1.15 for this from Morrison's, or that's the one of the two anyway. Would I recommend that you try it? Yes, I would. The next thing that I got through was my... Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. This stuff. So I was kind of like gutted because I didn't have my Olay Fix and Prime moisturiser. So I had to go out and buy another moisturiser, which you will be getting to see in my monthly favourites vlog. So keep your eyes tuned for that. But for now, I ran out of that one and it kind of like left me slightly devastated because I was like, oh my God, what am I going to use now to keep my makeup in place? <gasps> panic, 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 panic. But I managed to do a good enough job with it to make sure it stayed in place. So uh, that was all good. Right, the next thing that I used up in November was my razor from, I cannot remember, Gillette, I'm not sure, but it's the uh, Intuition 
razor and it comes with a little sucker pad thing and attachment so you can stick it to the wall in the shower when you're shaving your legs and your pits and anything else that you might want to remove and um, I think I paid five pounds for this I remember when I bought it from Tesco's would I buy it again no first of all this is bloody useless kept coming off the wall secondly it's like the lid doesn't actually fit on properly so it I don't know just didn't like it and the razor itself was you have like a soap thing around it so when you're shaving you don't need to add anything extra you just shave and remove the hair um i found that once the soap stuff started disintegrating it wasn't as effective the razor itself to be perfectly honest is wank because when you're shaving you're obviously pushing down on it but it just didn't seem to be getting in all the nooks and crannies I don't know if you like me, but when you're shaving your pits and you need to get under that area where like, it creases, I found it just wouldn't get in there as well. So that, as far as I'm concerned, was a waste of five pounds. And as I said, I'd never use it again. Now, if you'd watched my shopping haul yesterday, well, you would have noticed I bought some more bath bombs from Body Care. And the reason being, because I like them. I like them a lot. And uh, I've, already, I've only got one left of the actual original packet that i bought so i've used two up and this is the wrapper that contained the first one which was the lavender scented one these are absolutely gorgeous they did say it they did dissolve at quite a reasonable speed so they don't just gone and i love the way it dispersed all the rose petals i had and just getting into it it just felt like i was having a proper luxurious bath with petals floating about me, a nice scent filling the air and when I got out of the bath my skin felt so silky smooth, it was gorgeous I reckon that's probably down to the glycerin that's within the actual balm even though I can still smell the lavender lingering through oh gorgeous, if you've got a body care guys keep your eyes out for these and at least give them a try because Sam says so Next thing that I used up was the last bit of my Garnier Olea hair conditioner which comes with their hair air dyes. Um, these are supposed to last over a good few washes but at one point I stopped using it but then I went back to using it and now I finally used it up. I find this gives a really nice conditioned feel to the air. Uh, whether it keeps the actual colour in place I can't 100% say for certain that actually does. Um, but as a conditioner itself, it's very nice. Obviously, you can't buy them separately. Shame, really, because they'd be worth buying, but it is. Okay, the next product I juiced up was this shower gel from Whiteguard. It's their shower and oils shower gel with argan, marula, was it marula? Marula and almond oil. This smells so gorgeous. <sighs> I need to sniff it. Oh, heaven really is now obviously again there is a little bit still remaining in the bottom but i couldn't be bothered to wait for it to look i mean look at look how long it's taking to get from the bottom forget it just haven't got the patience so that has gone in the bin uh she paid about i think it was a pound from poundland again but this stuff is so gorgeous right the next thing that i used up in november was my current hair colour out of a bottle it was this from Swartz Carve it's a HD8 high definition hair dyeing cosmic blue this is the only colour that will go on my head and sometimes you can see the blueness and then other times you can't I mean right now in my opinion it looks brown but it's not it's blue with like a dark blue so you might be able to see it a little bit more of a stand back but I love this hair colour I pay £3.99 for it from Body Care and I can't do without this because I do not want my hair going grey even though it eats its tears with my legs or not. Now this scratchy wrapper here was the second bath bomb that I used out of me bath bomb set from Body Care. And this one is the coconut milk one and I can still smell it and it's just oh. Once again it left my skin feeling so soft and silky that I didn't need to moisturise it after getting out of the bath. Once again, it contained rose petals, so it was kind of like luxury lying there. Just a shame that you have to like scrub the bath clean afterwards to get rid of the rose petals, but oh, it's definitely worth the smell. Right, 
Right, the next thing that I used up in the month of November was this hair conditioner from Herbal Essence. Uh, it's from Clorel, it's the Herbal Essence Moroccan My Shine Nourishing Conditioner. It smells absolutely gorgeous. The packaging as well is just like purely pretty funky. Look at it. Love that colour. Great combination actually, but I love this colour. On the back it says argan nuts are hand-picked ground and pressed to extract the prized oil that has seduced the world. Inspired by exotic argan oil, our fragrance conjures visions of a vivid Moroccan flower market as the intensive moisturising formula conditions to nourish, restore in softness and shine. It leaves your hair feeling like proper fit like. Now I didn't actually buy this, Jessica did, and I think she paid one pound for it from Poundland. Or if not, I mean Jessica, she wouldn't have paid any more than two quid if she'd bought it elsewhere. But I know that you can get this in Poundland, and once again, I would deeply recommend that you give it a go. At the same time that I used that conditioner up, I also used up this shampoo from James Brown. It was originally part of a set that I was given a few years back, and I just never really got around to using it. So I have made a conscious effort of doing so, so I could include it eventually in one of my monthly empties vlog. And now, here it is in all its glory. Uh, it's a, as I said, it's from James Brown. It's their rich moisture shampoo, which deeply hydrates and cleanses dry hair, which mine can get quite neat at times. Not due to the fact that I go crazy with hair, heat, styling, get a wand, think like that, because I don't. It's mainly just down to the fact that, you know, I dye it quite a lot, so it does dry itself out. I mean, I had my hair trimmed not long ago, but look at these split ends already. They're just not good, you know. On the back it says, with 20 years experience of styling cover girls, catwalks and celebrities, James Brown's first hair care range is your essential toolkit for everyday styling. And then you've got a little quote from James Brown himself saying, I've, I'm often asked to send models down the catwalk with hair like silk. That sleek texture and swing is always in fashion, will take you anywhere. A silky smooth finish isn't so easy to achieve on dry hair, which is why I formulated this special shampoo with proteins like moisture in to the hair to create a glossy sheen or whatever. It's good stuff and it really does leave your hair feeling nice and smooth and extra nourished. I don't know how these are, how much these are sold for individually. I don't even know how much the set was. As I said, it was a gift. I know you can get them from Boots. So hopefully someone might be nice enough to buy me another one. Okay, another product that I used up in November was another body spray. And this one is from Charlie and it's called Touch. This has the mixed scent of fawned rose and dark vanilla musk. And on the back it says, confidence cannot be brought just one, proudly. Whatever that means. I absolutely love this scent. I think I found this in my local Morrisons. I probably will pay no more than 150 for it because I'm tight like that. But gorgeous scent definitely would buy it again in fact there's a few of us along uh, in their line that would like to try as well so you may get to see them at some point in the future okay uh once again we've got another tough paste that we've managed to get through we obviously brush our teeth a lot here in this house me and jess this is the colgate advanced whitening tough paste and i actually do recall buying this one myself from poundland so it would have only cost a pound. A tough paste. We all need it. If we all want to keep our teeth nice and clean and stop them from falling out. Tough paste is a must. Okay, the next product I got through was another body uh, deodorant. This one's also from Soft and Gentle. And this is the Wild Rose and Vanilla Scent. Like all Soft and Gentle's be it deodorants, these always smell absolutely gorgeous. They don't leave white stains or white marks on your armpits. They don't leave yellow stains on your clothes. It's just brilliant. Definitely brilliant. I also managed to get through the last of my bath bombs from Beautifully Scrumptious, which you can find in Poundland. These are, well, these only come in the scent of lavender with rose petals. And these, considering how cheap they are really for a pound, definitely worth the money so if you're ever in your local pound line please do check them out 
Next thing I got through was another body spray. Once again from Impulse. This is the one that's called Tease. And this contains red fruits and woods. And this is absolutely gorgeous. And whenever I wear this to work, people comment on it. Because it's like a citrusy kind of fruity scent to it. Uh, one of the chappies that works upstairs, my... Um, I should call him Mr. Yap. Loves this scent. Yeah, absolutely adores it. And finally, the last thing that I used up in the month of November was this body lotion from Christian Dior. It is poison one. I didn't buy this myself. I found it in Stuart's man's house when we were doing the clear out. And because I have had a love for the scent of poison for many, many years, I thought I'm going to have that. And I'm glad I did because it smells gorgeous still to this day. I love the scent of poison. It's just lush. And unfortunately now it's all gone. So it has also now joined the rest of all my products I've used up in the month of November. And off it goes to the big recycling plant thing up in the sky. You'd be believing that load of baloney. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. As I've already said, I'm going to be doing my November's favorite vlog very soon i'm also planning on doing a couple of other kind of videos for you as well if there is anything you'd like me to do for you while i've got the time this week please do let me know and i'll try my best to get it done for you uh that's it uh, yeah that's it i'm doing one take care i'll see you all soon until then bye for now